JB Pavilion on the campus of Ole Miss tonight. It's a showdown of the 21st ranked Auburn Tigers and the Ole Miss Rebels coming your way tonight on Super Tuesday. Glad you are with Team to be much more consistent. They're still trying to find their rhythm. And he wants some toughness perhaps as well, not just physically, mentally as well. Ole Miss is looking for what could be its signature win of the year. All right, away we go. Ole Miss in those home whites, Auburn in the bright orange. And the officiating crew is the trio of Pat Adams, Joe Lindsay, and Byron Jarrett. They use the whistles. The Auburn's forced a turnover of Ole Miss. Yeah, these are two rugged defenses, no doubt, that are a little further ahead defensively than offensively. This is Auburn starting five. There's the enforcer inside who just got rejected. The piece in the middle for Auburn, their leading scorer, who goes for 13 a game. Bruton's the leading scorer and leading shot taker as well. A lot of the offense is run through number four in orange. And at times, this precocious guard, that's Wendell Green with the shot clock draining, just had to hoist it. So this is Kermit Davis's starting five. Akubu makes his second straight start. And really the offensive playmaker, the dynamic scorer is Matt Morell, who's in the corner on this side of the floor, number 11 in the white. So much of the offense, they look for Morrell, but I think that young man right now, number four, Brakefield, he's got a terrific outside shot, and Miles Burns, he is aggressive, and on the boards right there, it's what he does so well. Very tenacious in his career. After guiding Auburn to regular season championship a year ago. There is G featuring the Ole Miss Rebels of the 21st ranked Auburn Tigers. Glad you're with us tonight with Carolyn Peck, Kevin Fitzgerald with you. Janai Broom immediately. He's really looked at finding shots from the perimeter where on the reverse side, Auburn is looking to attack the paint. Now so is Matt Morrell. He is the dynamic lead scorer for There's Janai Broom, one dribble, draws the contact, and he picks up the foul. Headed to the free throw line for... This is like the third baseline baseball. <laughs> so many different arm motions. Very animated, perhaps. There's Broom again. <laughs> he is letting his... And Flanagan off the bench and into the game. He has occupied that six-man role for Auburn this year. His first look is off the mark. Now Morrell, yes! the road in the SEC is so tough. So they're perfect at the line, plus they've hit two threes. Caldwell, the freshman, pokes it away. And Burns takes it in with the flush. As good a start as you could hope for Ole Miss, like you said, at home, back in front of its crew. Zepp Jasper buries the three. To get him going offensively. Yeah, he goes for nearly 13 a game as well. That pass out of Broom's hands, it was a tough one to handle. Caldwell on the run out. Green was the injured player before a prior timeout, so he was able to walk to the bench. There's Burns before the shot clock expires, but he is not out on the... ...to do is you've got to protect that blue paint. There's Robert Allen into the game for the first time with the left hand off the window. Flanagan finds the cutter, and it's Jalen Williams. Right of Auburn's first 14. Yeah, back door. Al Flanagan rises for the flush. Amari Abram leaves that way short. Auburn on the run. Inside to Treyor. Over the contest, he scores. And Kermit Davis counters with the tie. Recognized it, but he throws it away. Now it's Johnson. He lost the handle, but still was able to recover and lay it in. Katie, there's one thing he doesn't lack is energy. Very effervescent junior from Atlanta. Uh, he's in a particularly good mood this uh, this morning, this afternoon, today as well. Fighting and still working his way back. He had the Achilles issue last season. Big one for Ruffin. On the planes, shot 45% from the floor. That is 
how they fared so far in this first half. Green the lob. Broom, one dribble, makes another nice move on the baseline. I said you've got to. In the SEC, these coaches know each other so well, so you've got to have a few tricks up your sleeve. Breakfield open, launches for three. Boxing out and getting positioned, and look at that, oh, running the floor. Oh, oh. Cardwell, he says. I think he pointed at his coach and said, that's for you. Bringing it home, and as he comes back, he looks at Bruce Pearl, he says, that's for you. Now you got the mismatch. Williams had to take it away. Up ahead to Breakfield, and look out. Even at 29. All over the freshman. Broom's got it. Out to Green. Lays it up. A whistle, and that may be basket interference. Look. Ole Miss in need of an SEC win. This is Morrell, an aggressive attack. And Matthew Morrell is in the double figures for a second straight game. The zone giving him some fits. This is Green into the paint to Janai Broom. Got five seconds left if Ole Miss gets it inbounded in time. The clock, though, does drain away. And so the Rebels take a one-point lead into the locker room. Pretty competitive first half. Ole Miss had that early seven-point lead. Auburn him around, getting him moving to the basket. That'll work. You just put him in so many different play. The lone blemish at Georgia a week ago, and on the heels, the Tigers are, that big win against Arkansas a couple of days ago. Wendell Green, 4-3. Bounce pass right to Auburn. Here comes Green. No one ahead of him. Blocked from behind. And right on cue hits Burns. Nefloor bringing the energy for the Ole Miss Rebel. This is the left-hand lamp. It was a contested one. Jasper to Flanagan. Collects. Lays it in. And a pretty move. Auburn now with its lead. They've slowly chipped away at that in the first half. Up by six. Ole Miss moving the basketball around. High flying, Matt Morrell lays it up and in. Cardwell was diving. Instead, Green got smothered. Now it's Fagan. Lob it up to Breakfield. Yeah. Ole Miss coming with that 1 3 1 zone. Caldwell picks up Flanagan. Muscles by him into the paint. That drops. So the senior that time rebound down to Flanagan. So he has four rebounds to go along with the 10 points. Green, yes. And he's got a couple of fans that he is here because there was no energy in the building. There was nothing. You had to kind of bring it up a bit. Oh, there's energy and, and, there now. It's just a complete flip of the script. One of the best home court advantages. Hits the rim, bounces out. Cardwell with the strong board. Flanagan between the legs, couple of dribbles, and he buries a three. Al Flanagan will lead to double digits. 12.30 to go. Johnson improvising, high off the glass. Cardwell again. Nation in blocks per game as well. He and Broom have created that pretty deadly tandem underneath. Flanagan starting to feel it, and another Thriving tonight. We're in the water. I always throw them where I can go retrieve them. Well, Alan Flanagan has not thrown any clubs. Yeah, it's coming together, and it was just a matter of time. No hats or anything. Wendell Green, he has got to get going himself. He's got 13, and now he's on the move again. Ole Miss just cold in this second half, and the lead is now growing to 12. The Rebels, 3 of 9 from the field. They haven't even taken too many shots, some turnovers, and they're down by their largest margin. in blocks per game, nearly three a night. Nothing new for the former Moorhead State Eagle. Big three-pointer for eight. Meanwhile, Akuba blocked that shot on the other side, but Ole Miss lost it in transition. This is Williams into the paint. Blocking foul, count it. Akuba with person. I'll throw something out there over there. He come over here and, and shoot it from this side. So you're going to poke the bear even further. He's got 15. So that's tied with Flanagan for a team best tonight. And Auburn's lead has grown to 14. Back to a dozen. Ty Fagan hits the stop. 
Bounces as Morrell collects into the paint. Allen with the stuff, making a Kuba. To turn the ball over. Back to back buckets for the Rebels. Johnson just tall enough to keep it in play. This is Williams with the leaner, banks it in. Then he goes tumbling. But valuable starter's presence. Oh, Green, he picks Morrell's pocket to Williams, lays it up and in. Wendell Green made Shit, a little swagger after that Saturday win against the ranked Razorbacks. Fagan hit one a couple of minutes ago, and that one's through. 6.50 to go. Inside, this is Allen. Bounces it out. Morrell lost the handle. Here's Burns. Attacks with the left hand. That's through. Again, first. Starting against a grueling three-game slate. Brooms calling for it. He's got the double-double already. Starting to go to work. The lefty lays it up and through. Difficult. His spot before he gets the basketball. Yeah, really is not. I had to rely on uh, some sort of 10, 15 foot jump shots tonight and even at times earlier in SEC play. Matt Morrell, yet his team is down nine. They need some stops. Green, athletic spin. Williams passes up the three. Wanted to get a close range leaner, and that's good. End point game. Ole Miss now a desperate team. Broom spins, looking to go to the left hand again. He will not be denied tonight. One, two. He puts in that kind of work. He doesn't look fatigued. Yeah, really active. Plays like he is one of the best bigs in the league. That three counts. There's a foul underneath. This is Green. Breakfield switches on to the junior. The fall away. Got it. Wendell Green in a 17 for Wendell Green. He had five at the break. And again, he's done it at all three levels from deep, mid range, at the free throw line as well. All this needs points. A lot of time coming off, 120 to go. This is Abram, Breakfield, Fagan trying to beat the buzzer, and he does. So they turn the turn. Up. And it, it happens. Sometimes you get got. Morrell to the basket. He's fouled. 5.3 to go. And so Morrell to tonight. <laughs> it never cools down. Yeah, there's no off night <laughs> in and the SEC. All Auburn did was just heat up in that second half. They played a, a nearly flawless second half. Took care of the basketball. Shot really well.